So good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Nico Works na Otas. And today we are coming to you from Dagoreti. We are actually at the premises of Delightful Providence, one of the main wedding caterers in the country. In fact, they have been nominated in the Kenya Wedding Awards as the best caterers. They are just waiting for the results. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to waste more time. I want to bring to you the CEO herself, just introduce herself by way of telling us her name and uh, who she is because the Kenyan fraternity is ready and jeering to go and even to hear from her. Welcome on set, Kaki. Thank you very much. J just look at this camera and just introduce yourself to the okay. viewers and so that they get to know who is this All lady right. behind the life of Providence. So my name is Gaki Njero. Uh, you can call me Mary also, but um, on my social media, I'm Gakin Jero. Mm -hmm. I am the CEO of Delightful Providence. We are a catering company. Mm -hmm. We are based in Dagoreti. And we've been doing this for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. I have a background in actually hospitality. Mm -hmm. That's what I have trained in. Um, of course, along the journey of life, I've also done many other things. Mm -hmm. And um, But this is what we are handling today. Yeah. And I'm happy to be on Nico Works now, Tas, wow. today on... Uh, on Elevate. How did you conceive the idea of starting a catering company mm -hmm. to the extent that now you are known countrywide, delightful okay. providence? I have worked for quite some time, mm -hmm. but then it got to a point where I was like, since this is really my passion, and of course people pushing you, mm -hmm. they say, why don't you do this? Why don't you go private? Why don't you do something? So I had actually been cooking, even after Form 4, I had still been cooking at home, cooking, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, your neighbors have like a function and they're like, ah, Gaki, you can come and cook for us. Mm -hmm. Until now, I came into contact with somebody who said, oh, you know what, you can actually monetize this. Because mm -hmm. it seems for you, it's not just the training that you mm -hmm. did, you have a passion in it. Mm -hmm. You love hosting, you love entertaining people, you're very hospitable. So they're like, why don't you just try and monetize it? Mm -hmm. And of course, now you know, uh, biashara ni biashara. So I just had to go in there and I've been building up slowly. I wouldn't say that um, I have achieved, mm -hmm. you know, my dream, but I know I'm working towards that. Wow. I'm working towards yes. that and yes. tutafika hapo. So what you're saying in simple terms is mm -hmm. passion plus knowledge or yes. training. Skill. Skill. Yes. yes. Skill and passion. Yes. So the two merge. If you want to make a brand out of it mm -hmm. and if you want to make the best and be a, a household name, eh? mm. you have to match your passion, you have to match your skill. So, passion um, alone cannot do the, cannot work. Do the work. Skill alone cannot do the work. Mm. You need to have the passion for it. Now you are talking about when they say you are not working. You are not just a picker. You are just because you are not going to school. Skill ina kusaidia. Mm. Ina kusaidia ku kuweza sasa ku quantify mm. iyo kazi ni unafanya. Mm. Pia ina kupe confidence. Mm. Because when somebody knows this is something you've actually trained in, and now you are going to get a job, because you are not taking a chance with. They are food. Mm. They know very well what you're doing. You're offering them quality. Wow. So skill is good. But you can also have skill and lack passion. Biashara mm. mazis kuzi ni passion. Juu zile vitu zina kugonga uko inje. Uneza hata give up biashara within a day. So it is very important. Mm. Just make sure, even if you have the skill, mm. have a passion for it. All right. Yes. Whether you have the passion, it's not enough. Mm. Yeah. Also, if you have the skill, it's not enough. You make sure that you match the two of them and you end up having a catering company. So tell me, mm -hmm. um, you guys are registered or? Uh... We try our best to follow through all the registrations and, and um, all the requirements, mm -hmm. the legal requirements mm -hmm. that we are supposed to have. You know, handling food is not a joke. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you need the licenses that you're required to have a medical, you need a medical um, uh, a license of some so, sort, so, so you know, instance, things like where this. where do you yeah. get this medical license? Okay. So we have um, food, one is a food handler certificate, food handler which is offered by the city council, okay. county council. County, eh? county That's what we call the county government. And I think you know, it's, in Nairobi, you know, it's an yes. or something. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you have to get that. It's normally renewed after every six months. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you need your basic uh, business registration, by mm -hmm. the one you do at Sharia House. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're running a premise, 
like a, 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 a premise where it's open to customers and all that Work you need a, huh? yeah you need a you need a fire certificate mm. you know to show that you're actually audited mm. to be able to handle fire because cooking is all about fire mm. if you're handling liquor but which we don't you need a liquor licensing mm. a, a liquor license to be able to sell hard drinks and things like that yeah mm. yeah and then of course now even when we get events eh, mm. and we go to a, a premise we also want to make sure for example if it's a wedding mm -hmm. you want to make sure that the place where you're holding your wedding even if it's an outdoor event they have also been able to meet the requirements yeah, wow. so that even when we take our food there mm -hmm. we are covered mm -hmm. yeah wow. yeah so ada kupika kabisa how expensive are these licenses um registering your business is not expensive mm -hmm. because what you need to do is do your name search mm -hmm. And then you go through the Sharia process. I can't remember. I, I don't know how much it is right now, mm -hmm. but I think during our time we were paying around 800 or so, everything included. Mm -hmm. eh? But then now these other certificates, it's it's quite something. Quite it's something. it's it's quite something. And maybe that's where the government needs to come in. Now akumbuke maze watu anajaribu kujijenga. If some of these things can be subsidized, ndio pia mtu yoyote at whatever level anazaingia biashara. But a medical certificate is not expensive. It is 1050, 1050 oh, shillings. Yeah. Na hiyo unapata tu kwa county council. So hiyo sio expensive. Mm. Lakini hizo zingine sasa like if I was probably branding an item here, mm. maybe I want to be selling cheap uh, my chips in a you know in a supermarket or something. That one I'll have to do kebs mm. and kebs also is a process on its own mm. to get that kebs and standardization. So that's also a process on its own. Oh. So cost wise um you can start where you are because they're very basic mm. is uh get your business registered then you build up mm. yeah wow. mm. anyway so uh i think we, we we've understood uh, the genesis of the entire thing mm -hmm. where it began we have also yes. understood the legal requirements mm -hmm. now let's get into it yeah. um because now i think i'm out so we will not be cooking today <laughs> But the, you, already you, you can be assured that <laughs> this food was cooked. So <laughs> yes. you want to just to maybe mm -hmm. if you can maybe just demonstrate for us something. Yes. I know you said you're doing something. If you can yeah. do that for yeah. us yeah. here, yeah. Uh, so that you just take us through the process. You know, mm -hmm. some people just wanna say manga. Oh, wow, what to do? Mara, how are you cooking? I wanna wanna get to do the nyama. Yeah, wanna find ya. Today we are doing it practically, so yes. we are going to watch. So yeah. now, mm -hmm. okay. so the first thing I'll have to give you, you, you have to. to cook. You're not <laughs> cooking. <laughs> You're yeah. doing food preparation, so uh -huh. you have to do your gloves. There okay. you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the procedure. <laughs> yes, Lazima, you, you protect Rome, your hands. My hands must be yeah. protected. Yeah, okay. and your hair, you see, like for me, my hair is already covered. Oh, so yeah. So maybe you, you your hands, so <laughs> Kini, we are covered by Uzi the blood jali. of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we don't want our hairs everywhere in the food. Uh -huh. I have a, a small cheese platter here. Uh -huh. I have some cheddar cheese, I have some mozzarella cheese, I have some salami. Oh, come again, right. Eh, cheese, cheese, cheddar cheese. 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 Eh, cheese. Cheese. Kuna boys wangu hawana. So we <laughs> tuko na cheese hapa. <laughs> and this can be starters, eh? Oh, sasa hizi ni starters. Unaweza uma 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 hizi kabla ufikie the main food. Sasa mtu anaanza anza mali. Unaweza uma. Unaweza Hii ndio najua. Tuko na crisps hapo. Oh, no, this is crisp. Yeah, mm -hmm. potatoes. Potato and this mm -hmm. is banana. Hii ndio inaitwa plantain. Eh. I know something. Okay. So <laughs> now, ukikula kastata kako unaenda kwa ka main dish kidogo. Oh, Today we are just having finger foods, eh? Oh. Yeah, so just some Wait. sausage. Finger foods. something you said finger foods. F finger foods are food you can eat with your fingers. You don't have to have a sit down oh. with all the formal cutlery at in your one the kukula. Yeah. I, I hope you are learning something. Yeah, finger foods. finger foods. You don't need cutlery. These yeah. are just eat them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Azina <laughs> uh -huh. Then we have some fruits here. Uh -huh. I love peanuts. Mm -hmm. So every event I go to I make sure I have yeah, some peanuts. Njugu. Watu wakula njugu. Yes. Mhm. Mm what is? Njugu zimeomoka hizi zangu. 
hizi zangu zimeondoka. Yeah. Uh-huh. So ile kitu hatuna, I wanted to we do some ice cream. Okay. And I just want to serve ice cream in an, in a bowl. Mm. I want us to serve it in this glass. In a glass. Uh-huh. And that's what you're going to do. Uh-huh. So we'll just garnish it a little bit, just spice it up. Ikae tu poa. Ku garnish. Eh. My director is telling me you have two minutes. But yes. Let's, let's do so we we you pick up some biscuits from mm. there and mm. put them in your glass make sure at least they are lying down oh, they have to lie down two and of them is enough yeah two is good mm. just do two mm. uh-huh. then we'll use some ice cream here uh-huh. and just get a scoop of the ice cream that's how you scoop it yes you use a ice scoop but if you don't have an ice scoop you can use a just a regular spoon so ni kuokota tu eh kuchota jaza vizuri portioning eh hata kitambue eh nini nini eh hey, you are very generous the scoop has to fit <laughs> yeah, you know Evo, now yes. this is a great experience that's so now one scoop yeah then what do we should be about 100 uh ml eh? ladies and gentlemen yeah. that's 100 ml there <laughs> yeah i think i've done it right yeah you've mm-hmm. done it right eh? uh-huh. then Did you use two biscuits on yours? Two, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then you just take a wafer. Oh, this is a way. wafer uh-huh. and just dunga it over there. You do right over and here. there you have. So at mtu akikula hiyo, now they can add a re- we have some fruits here. Mm-hmm. So someone can even scoop some fruits and add them in and the add ice cream. It. So we can add that. Mm-hmm. You and you have a beautiful dessert. Ah, so this is dessert. This is just a dessert for. Okay. You can add a few fruits. In there and there you go mhm and add this one some fruits because I'm on this side that I think for you yeah thank you thank you you are so hospitable you're welcome all right so and what we have here ladies and gentlemen is there you have it we call it ice cream dessert yeah that's a dessert just, uh, uh, dessert it's a, call it dessert oh. let me not complicate can so we have the dessert here <laughs> Ah, uh, to remember the starter, main yeah. course. Then we have something now to, we have to time. wash it down. To wash it down. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was just the first part. When you come back in the second part of the show, you're not just going to be showing your it's done. They're going to be showing you how it's swallowed. <laughs> Don't touch that down. We will be back in the second bit of Nicolax Matters. <laughs>